All right, this is the case of a 35 year old gentleman who presented with a severe occipital headache. Uh, he went to the clinic where he was physically examined and noted to have a raised blood pressure 160 over 100. And he took certain medications to lower his blood pressure, following which he was advised to do a CT scan of the brain. So let's have a look at the CT scan of the brain. So as I go from a craniocaudal sweep, I do not find any areas of hyperdensity to suggest any bleed. The blood vessels, the arterial and the venous system do not show any abnormal density to suggest any possible thrombosis or any signs of abnormal gray-white matter differentiation to suggest possibility of any ischemic insult. Now let's just switch over to the window to see the bones and the sinuses and as you can clearly see there is a lot of opacification in the right frontal sinus all along the right frontal sinus drainage extending into most of the uh, right ethmoidal air cells as you can see over here and then as we go much of the maxillary sinus is opacified as well a little bit of the uh, right sphenoid sinus is also fairly well opacified. Uh, let's switch over to the coronal view because that gives us a much better representation of what's happening in the paranasal sinuses and the nasal cavity. So as you can clearly see that the uh, right osteomyetal unit is completely obstructed. So what's going on over here is there is actually significant obstruction of much of the outflow tracts of the right frontal, ethmoidal, and maxillary sinuses. Uh, and probably there is a concabulosa over here, which is also inflamed. Uh, there is some amount of polyposis also seen on the left side in the ethmoid air cells. Uh, minimal mucosal thickening is also seen in the left uh, maxillary sinus. Again, its drainage is also appearing to be obstructed. So this is essentially just a case of uh, sinonasal polyposis predominantly affecting the right side.